You want to know the worst part about this whole world of uh, AI coding and vibe coding is usually that means I have to be locked into my desk or my computer in order to actually make something happen, which means, yeah, I can't code from the toilets. But the good news is, is that there is a lot of tools now that are slowly catching up. And for the past week, I've been vibe coding uh, from anywhere. Thanks so much to Bento for sponsoring this video. More on them later. I don't know about you, but usually I get most of my good ideas for my uh, building out my projects or even new projects that I want to create. I get them laying down in bed or when I'm away from my laptop. Usually it's not when I'm locked in and dialed in right in front of my laptop. But the problem with that is, is that I can't build the things that I usually want to build using my phone. I don't have a full developer suite on there. I don't have AI. And so I'm usually just stuck with writing down ideas or even just chatting with AI saying, hey, this is an idea I have. Let's build out a plan for this. And then when I'm in front of my laptop, then I can actually start working. But about a week ago, I started changing that whole world of actually building things when I'm on the go, when I'm laying in bed, when I'm on the toilet, when I'm <laughs> just away from my house, when I'm taking a walk with my kids or my dog. And I have gotten a lot faster at just building the things that I want to build. And it's with this app called Vibe Tunnel. So I want to show you. So this is Vibe Tunnel. Turn any browser into your Max terminal. So this concept isn't necessarily new. You're just SSHing into your workstation and then being able to control your workstation's uh, terminal right in your browser from anywhere. So you might use something like Ngrok or Tailscale. And that's actually what I'm using with Vibe Tunnel. So I figured I'd show you how to set this up uh, with your Mac using Tailscale, and then what you can do with it. After downloading the DMG, all you have to do is, is open it up in order to kind of get the process started. The creators made this incredibly simple, incredibly easy to get started. You basically just walk through this process of turning on your terminal in order to be able to be used by Vibe Tunnel, a command line tool, so that Vibe Tunnel can start Claude or Gemini within your terminal. You have some permissions that you have to accept, and then you can select your preferred terminal. I told her the directory where I normally keep my projects, and then you have a couple options of how you actually want to authenticate into Vibe Tunnel when you're accessing it from a browser from anywhere, because usually you want to keep that pretty secure. So you have Mac OS authentication as well as SSH keys. Once it's installed, you just open it up. I'm using Mac OS authentication and we're ready to go. Now, I've already installed Tailscale, but what you can do is if you haven't downloaded Tailscale, you can go to tailscale.com, download it for your device, and then get it up and running by creating an account. After downloading Tailscale, you just log in. Usually GitHub is the easiest, and then you can get going from there. It will automatically connect you to this private VPN that you then can use to connect to your laptop from other devices. And so Vime Tunnel is actually going to use this network that you've created in order to access it. Turning on Tailscale to connect it to this private network. And then in Vibe Tunnel's remote settings, Vibe Tunnel automatically sees that Tailscale is up and running. Of course, you can use Cloudflare D in order to connect as well for quick tunnels, or you can use Ngrok if you prefer that instead. There's a couple other settings I want you to be aware of, and the security is where you can change the authentication method to be Mac OS and SSH key or just SSH key, for example. But you probably should at least have one form of authentication. You can also set preferred Git app in the advanced settings. I have Visual Studio Code selected. If you prefer something like Cursor instead, you can of course use that for me. I just use the GH, the GitHub CLI within my terminal. All right, now I have Tailscale already installed on my phone, which is great because if you open it up, all you have to do is make sure that it is connected and up and running. So you can log in with the same account that you logged in to your device on your laptop connect to that private VPN, and now you have access to this URL, the Tailscale or the Vibe Tunnel is setting up through Tailscale. So if I was to copy that, and just because I have an iPhone, I now have it available to paste in my browser. I'm just going to go to my browser. I'm going to uh, open it up and go to a new tab and paste it in. And it's the port 4020 of my particular Tailscale URL. I'm going to log in with my system password. This is the one that is for your Mac. And now I have the ability to access my laptop from wherever 
I am. I could be in, laying in bed. I could be on the toilet. I could be uh, across the world. I could be in a different state and still have access to my laptop as long as this is on and connected to the internet. And the great thing is now I can continue my Claude Code sessions right from this app. Now, there's only one small thing that's changed in my normal day-to-day -day workflow of building things within Claude Code and AI within my own device. But before I get to that, why don't we hear from a sponsor of today's video? All right, and send. Perfect. All right, user number six just signed up. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. We need to get this drip campaign out the door for new sign up. Hey, what are you doing? Who else is gonna send these emails? Every single minute, I need to watch to make sure my users are signed up so that I can get them emails as promptly as possible. So I got timers. I, I could just use Bento. They have workflows and triggers specifically meant for those kind of automations. Yeah, that sounds better. Seriously, Bento is fantastic, even if you only use a small part of it like I do. My favorite feature, being able to automate my email flows, saying once something happens in my code, and of course there's SDKs for literally everything, I can say I want to wait a certain number of time and then I want to send or this email or start this campaign. It just makes the things I want to do within my application easier and it makes it better for my users because I don't have to bother them as much as I would otherwise because all the automations built in and flexible for my use cases. So seriously, try Bento, let them know Josh Siri sent you and get started with it today. So usually after I install a new Laravel application, or even if I'm using an existing application that I want to add specific features to, usually I would have further than a week ago, said, hey, uh, let's just run Claude within that specific directory. But now I just add VT before. And what that is telling VibeTunnel to do is, hey, we're uh, allowing the ability for VibeTunnel to be, have access to that particular directory, that particular Claude instance that's running. So if I go into this particular uh, new layer of application that I created, I'm just gonna run VT Claude. Now, what's gonna happen is on my phone, you saw that right away, is that all of a sudden you see it running. So I can pull this up and have access to Claude. So uh, when I set, so, set up something on this specific laptop, I say, hey, we're gonna start this going. Like maybe we're just doing a slash init. I have immediate access to what's going on. And so this has been fantastic for me. The times when I need to either step away or take a quick break, take a walk, play with my kids, and being able to also still be in control of what's happening without being tied to my desk, my laptop has been a real game changer. Yeah, all of this was already possible, especially if you had the ability to just SSH into your terminal from your phone, but Vibe Tunnel just makes it easier. And it's something that I didn't actually start using until I saw Vibe Tunnel and was like, hey, this is exactly what I need. Why? Because I like the ability of being able to leave my laptop, being able to leave this desk, being able to work from my bed and still build things and still create. So whether you're on the toilet, in your bed, or maybe just taking a walk, you can use Vibe Tunnel to keep building and keep creating.